When the fullness of time had come, God revealed himself in the flesh. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, in that very same temple that King David's son, Solomon, had built after the pattern Moses had seen in heaven. The holy priest, Zechariah, was serving as priest before God. According to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to burn incense, and the whole multitude of the people was praying outside at the hour of incense. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar. The angel of Gabriel revealed to him that his wife Elizabeth, who was barren, would give birth to John, the forerunner and Baptist of Christ. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Later Mary went to visit her kinswoman and entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the babe John the Forner leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord, the mother of God, the Theotokos, should come to me? And then Mary declared to him, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. And so the church to this day sings the magnification hymn of Mary, and the hymn, Rejoice, O Virgin Theotokos, Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. When John the foreigner and Baptist of Christ was born, holy Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel. And so the church received another of its hymns sung in Orthros. God revealed himself in the flesh to Simeon the aged and righteous, who had waited for many, many years for the coming of the Messiah. When they brought the baby Jesus into the temple, forty days after his birth, Simeon took him up in his arms and said, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. This New Testament hymn or canticle has been sung by the Church at Vespers from apostolic times. When Christ was born, the angels sang to the shepherds, Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill among men. These words begin the great doxology sung at the end of Orthros. This ancient hymn incorporates this hymn of the angels and the Psalms of David. It ends with the ancient Trisagion, thrice holy hymn, which was revealed to the little boy during a great earthquake in Constantinople in the fifth century. Many of the largest and the most beautiful buildings were destroyed by this terrible earthquake. Then the patriarch with the emperor, many of the clergy, nobles, and people came out in a procession of supplication. As they were praying to God, a child was miraculously lifted high in the air until he was out of sight. Then he returned and was lowered gently to the ground. Asking where he had been, the child replied that he had been lifted up to heaven among the angels, and that he had heard the angels sing, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Upon hearing this, all the people in the procession began to sing it, and the earthquake ceased immediately. From this time on, this beautiful hymn was adopted by the church. 